years. And one of our wonderful speakers at the summit will be Andrea Alexander. Welcome, Andrea. Thank you so much, Dr. Beverly. How are you today? I'm great. I hope you're feeling well. I'm loving that it's almost the end of the week. <laughs> so, forward to Friday. <laughs> I'm looking forward to some uh, to a weekend. Yes. So tell us about the wonderful talk you're going to give at the summit. So I'm going to be talking about um, healing trauma um, using conscious awareness and using my tools, our words, the power of our words. And what I'm aware of is that we're the root will come up in usually the first three words that a person speaks into is what's acting or what's where they're off course and yet to know because the subconscious is tricky and tries to keep us in the mental rather than in the heart. And so I've learned, I've become trained, very trained in listening to their words and asking questions based on that. So I, uh, for trauma into thriving is what I, is my personal experience. And I also do a lot of body language, which when I ask a question, somebody will lean in and I'm, I know that they're engaged and there's some stuff that seems very basic, you know, you cross your arms, but I've learned to translate things down to every single toenail, every single tooth. There's something associated with each part. And so the, the words begin the story, the body never lies and it keeps going. And so that's what I, that's what I do. That's how I support my clients in remembering the truth of who they are to move past the symptoms, get at the root and let's do the work. Wonderful. And there's so much trauma these days. <laughs> It's ooh, and you know, the statistics are one in three women, one in four men have experienced some kind of sexual trauma in their life. And those are the ones that remember. And those are the ones that talk about it. And so yeah. I imagine it's one in two, probably for both men and women. They're just not talking about it. And like my experience was I was 48 when I finally remembered what happened. I knew it was in there. I just didn't know what it was. And so I you know, it's, there's a lot of work to do around sexual trauma and trauma is trauma. It doesn't matter whether you were abandoned emotionally or physically your body, my, but your, yours doesn't feel any different to your body than mine does to me. Yeah. So, well, I think just being alive these days is traumatic. <laughs> there is so much going on out there. I just, I was aware yesterday, just doing stuff for my parents. And when I was complete a couple of hours later, sitting down and I felt so tired and I realized I have been in fight or flight for two hours now and didn't even realize I was out of my body because I was just kind of going from one thing to the next. We're so disconnected from ourselves and it's no wonder that we're so many people are so tired because we're just trying to push and um, yeah, trying to be alive. Yes, so it's believed that it's some, hard. You have some gifts for us. Tell us about the gifts. I do. So um, for the members who register and join, I will I have a, a master class that is a what we I call an evergreen. It was recorded and has play sheets that go along with it called um the gemstones of gra gratitude, the gemstones of forgiveness. And so that was a four week, four week master class. That's part of if you just register as a, um, it's your free gift. And then if you're a VIP, I will be doing eye readings and, and then what I call enlightened iridology. And iridology has been around for a really long time. I mean, they found uh, slates in King Tut's uh, tomb. And very similar to what the Egyptians have been doing, Egyptians were doing, the map is exactly the same. It shows the organs and, uh, and most of the time you hear people speak into the health of someone based on what's coming up. And some of the signs are the same, but I do eye readings from the realm of what's my mission and purpose in life. And so the sclera represents um, how we interact with the world. So if you've got a lot of blood vessels, there's a lot of codependence, a lot of enmeshment happening in, the, happening in there based on where it's located in the eye. We can tell if it's mother or father lineage, um, hardwired from primitive uh, reptilians. Um, and then the, the iris has 
where we can see traumatic events. It's where that sh shows up and lots of different signals. And so it's how we interact and feel about ourselves. And then the pupil itself is, um, are we behind our eyes in the light that comes through the eyes? And you may not, you may or may not know this, but there's really only three colors of eyes. There's a true blue, a true brown, and there's another one that's kind of a brown golden mix. Green eyes are that color because of trauma, whether it's systemic or familiar or something in your own, because there's a lot of yellow and orange in there that causes the blues to change. And so as we do this work, what happens is we can, my clients, myself included, I see the changes in my own eyes. I used to have really deep green eyes and now they more, they're more blue. The, there's so much shifts and change. And so we are aware that when we're healing from the inside out, we're changing the DNA. We're raising ourselves. We're also doing generations back and generations forward. They know for a fact that when we, when we heal something on a DNA level in us, whether it's 1500 miles or three days down the somewhere else, instantaneous shift and change exactly the same. So we can see the progress and the changes that in our eyes and it's miraculous. I remember the very first time I had an eye reading, my coach says to me, she goes, I said, well, I said, what's that pink ring? Cause it was around where the intestines were. And she goes, we never see that. I go, really? What does that mean? She goes, you are hardwired to receive because we speak into what's, what's the return rather than what it isn't. And so, so tender and, and drawn was my receiving because of my experiences and that pink ring is no longer there nice we so i'll be sharing that iridiology and color puncture and they talk about a darker ring around the outer edges of the eye have you seen that are you talking about between the sclera and the iris yeah yes and we call that a scriff or a skiff and it is where we have built hard walls around ourselves as protection. And they go anywhere from a gray to a deep, dark color. And so the darker the color, the more solid the wall. And it's where we've built walls around to protect us from what we do not enjoy feeling. Interesting. Yes, it's fascinating. And I've had the experience of, you know, like seeing something in my eye one day, I'm like, ooh. I got pissed about something and it came up and I somehow managed to get a picture of my own eye with my phone and I sent it to somebody. And by the time I got, because I made a couple of calls, I'm like, that looks like a silhouette of family. And I was having stuff going on with my family. By the time my person called me back, I'd already moved it. It dissipated that quickly. And we have so much power, 70 trillion watts of power in us that we're using mostly against us if we're not paying attention and so we have the so, power to do all this other stuff so if that gift doesn't sound interesting to you well <laughs> i think it's interesting i'm trained in radiology but oh, i do it for medicine purposes rather it's, than trauma it's very it, and it's it, it's not this is really what we call it what is mission and purpose in life because Mother and father left, you know, divine feminine, divine masculine come together. And um, it's just a different perspective. And it's not all trauma. And there's a lot of trauma involved in our lives. So well, if you want to hear Andrea's talk at the summit, you can register at um, holistictransformationsummit.com. I've only been doing this for three years, so I don't know the website name yet. <laughs> Yeah, holistic, but it's not every day, so it's okay. <laughs> transformationsummit.com. And when Andrea posts this on her site, she'll put her link underneath. So you'll use her link instead. And if you can't join us live September 29th through October 1st, you can register as a gold member for only $27 until September 28th. And then the price goes up to $47. But if you want that awesome gift, that 
a VIP gift, then you can register right now for only $47. And then again, on September 28th, it goes up to $97. So you will be saving a lot of money because there are, I think there's like 10, seven, there's seven gifts worth at least $200 each for a total of $3,800. So if you only pay $47, you can collect all of those gifts if you want $3,000 worth of gifts. <laughs> almost $4,000 worth of gifts. Yeah, it's almost $4,000. So, and I don't know, but I've played with some of the other um, members and we are powerful. <laughs> oh, yeah. This We're is doing, an awesome group yes, of speakers. It is yeah. a... If you've got anything going on, ladies, and you desire some support and help in your body and creating a life beyond what you've known, this is the group to come and listen to. And it will be live in Zoom. And everyone who registers will be live in Zoom. And after each speaker gives their talk, we'll have Q&A for 10 minutes after each talk. So you'll get to interact with the speakers themselves. Uh, any closing words, Andrea? Thank you for bringing everybody together and creating this platform for us to support our women in our world. Awesome. I appreciate you. Oh, I appreciate you. And I'm so glad you're part of our summit. Thank so you. be sure to join us. if you're. It's free if you don't have any money at all. And uh, just contact me uh, or post a question underneath in Facebook if you need to know anything. So see you at the summit and remember to be the light you want to see in the world.